worshiping just a moment ago, the Lord laid this this word for this house for me to to declare it and then pray it. It's one thing to say something, but if it doesn't enter into the heart of man, then what happens, it just becomes maybe a momentary inspirational. A lot of what we do is inspirational, but it's not transformational until we grab it and say, yes, let it be unto me according to the extent of that word. There is coming a suddenly to this house. In Malachi, the last chapter, therefore, for the New Covenant Testament, and it says, and suddenly the messenger of the covenant will come to the house of the Lord. And the word suddenly is the word patha, which means a sudden opening of the eye as if to take in light and see something that you didn't see just a moment before. And suddenly is a thing that, that's so overwhelming that like when it happens, you don't have time to decide whether you like it, don't like it, try to process it. It is just a th- suddenly. But the truth about suddenly is they're actually not suddenly because it's been moving all the time that direction. But when it manifests, Brett Pastor Owens talking about when the billionaire manifests, he may have been there all morning long, but when he manifests, it was a suddenly. And there's a suddenly that's coming to this house, although it's been sowing, you've been sowing towards it and believing for it and praying for it, and then when it manifests and among you, you say, all of a sudden this happened. On the day of Pentecost, suddenly. But yet it had been prophesied for years, for you know, hundreds of years. Joel prophesied it. But when it happened to those guys, it was suddenly, patha. Suddenly, revelation came. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit came upon us. And all we know is something like wind filled the building. We don't know what happened, but we know something happened. There was a birthing happened. It was the outpouring. It was the promise of the Father, he says there in Acts 1. There's a promise of the Father that's been given to this house for many years, but soon and suddenly there's going to be a manifesting of it when it comes. And there's people that have sown, maybe not even here anymore, but they've been sowing towards it for a long time. And the Lord said, for such a time as this, it's going to come. I heard a guy say one time that the description of suddenly is when the timing of the Lord and the promise of the Lord intersect. At that intersection is a suddenly. The word timing is kairos or chronos, depending. And so some of you have gone through seasons and you're saying, God, is it time? Is it time? Is it time? And you've had times to where it looked like this was it, but that was only a testing of the season of the time. But when this suddenly comes, there will be no doubt about it that it is such a supernatural emerging of something that you've been sowing towards, looking for, prophesying and declaring. Because when you prophesy, you're actually sowing. Prophetic is just like seed put in the ground. You're, you're sowing something towards the day it comes. And the Lord is saying to you today, this suddenly, when it comes, you have to embrace it. And if this suddenly comes, some of you may have think, I've been here a long time. Is this, what about me and my position? Because God's going to do such a quick work in bringing people in in such a way that you're going to have to embrace them as, as uh, you know, sons and daughters or maybe people that, that were left and come back. You're going to say, you're still bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, and so you're part of the body. And we're going to receive you, not as, as elder brothers who are saying, you know, what about me? The whole time he said, need to learn to have a party now, not just wait for the prodigals to come in. Learn to have your party now. Because it's always the covenant's with you. And when this suddenly from the presence of the Lord comes, he's saying, hear the Lord now and prepare for what you're believing for. Sometimes we pray prayers, but we don't have a container for it. God, would you make me a millionaire? Well, how have you been handling the hundreds of dollars? I've got a prayer to be a millionaire, but I have not been faithful of handling a hundred dollars. When God makes me a millionaire, I'm going to start tithing. And when God makes me a millionaire, then I'm going to do this. We start where we are, developing a capacity for what shall be. And so just hear the word of the Lord. What do we have to do to prepare for this suddenly to come so when the harvest comes, we're not going to lose any of it? 
When Peter filled his boat, Jesus there was supernaturally let down the nets. He had to call his partners over because his boat got full. And as, as long as he continually had a capacity, the fish kept coming. The prophet said to the widow lady, go gather all the vessels. And as long as there was room, it kept pouring. When there was no more room, it stopped. And the word of the Lord over you is both naturally and spiritually make room, but also make room. Make room for the move of the Holy Spirit. Make room for Him in such a way. And He may do things in, su in, in such a, a powerful, supernatural way. And you say, well, I don't know if this is God because I've never seen it before. I'm looking for things that I've never seen before because I don't want to be held to my history. I want to be held to what shall be. And you may be at praying prayers that you have yet to have the capacity to receive it. And it may appear that God is saying no because it hasn't happened when the whole time he's not saying no he's just saying if I poured it out you don't have room to contain it I don't know how you do this but I believe the Lord will show you whether it's in a home here make room for what he's getting ready to do if you were going to have a child you wouldn't wait till the child brought him home and said oh wow we got a one bedroom apartment what are we going to do well we should have thought about that nine months ago we scatter around. The Lord is saying, prepare for what you're believing and what you're seeing because it really proves whether you really believe in what you're seeing. Or otherwise, it's just an encouragement. Exactly. Amen.